tonight we are using a projector to play Cricket 22. So I couldn't do it in my other room. If the keyboard and mouse, the screen, my computer, the projector, I got my light over here to light me up. And then over here on the wall, we just have a giant Cricket 22 going on. Uh, so it is gonna be a very Interesting little setup we've got going on here. Fairly normal in terms of how the rest of the stream operates, just apart from the fact that I'm in a different room. So you still see everything is normal. I've just got the projector going on to try something different uh, for me, because I wanted to record using this and we'll see how we go. So, but everything else is just normal for you guys. So I guess it's not too exciting <laughs> to be honest. But if there's any issues with audio or anything, please let me know. I'll do my best to, uh, to go with that. God, it is huge. But it's always interesting playing games on this giant screen. I feel like, what do you need it? You need to play like a Mario Kart or something on it. Yes. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Gary. He's off the mark and that is a boundary. Yes. Unusual. Oh, that is terrible fielding and that is gonna be another boundary. So what kind of score am I looking for here, everyone? No, that is a terrible, terrible thing. Like, bowling at 140 and it feels like it takes me five seconds to get here. So that's a bit annoying. Anyway, it's, uh, let's just do it. Let's just step across and absolutely tonk this man. Yes. Pulls it away. And this is exactly what we want from Josh Hazelwood. Oh, no. What have I done here? Yeah. Oh, that is not good at all. <laughs> that was terrible, that. I was too, like, I was distracted by the chat. The lead is 226, right? Which is what South Africa will be chasing in this fourth innings here. 227 for a win. Uh, they can't win the series. We've already won the series. But can they get some pride? I feel like the AI will chase this fairly easily. But you never know. Can we create a miracle? Oh, and an inside edge. First ball. Algar gets a boundary. Yep. Oh, he's got that away. Gary on the chase, won't get to it. It'll be four. Oh, nick that, please. Please nick that. Has he almost caught that? Manus is just like a little fiend. Get in there. Oh, it was in the air. Well fielded that. Good work, Travi. Oh, catch it! He, it's a chance! It was a shoey! Manus, oh, Manus is normally up in there. What was he doing? Can't believe that we missed a shoey. Yep. Oh, what on earth did you decide to do there? Goodness gracious me, Travis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate that shot. It's just disrespectful to everyone. And Hazelwood is just having a leisurely stroll here. Dean, can you agree in 2023 you need to be better with the bat? I feel like I had... I mean, I've won this series. I drew the West Indies series. It wasn't as if I was terrible. Oh, yeah. But yes. I'd love to have more, like, hundreds. Oh! <laughs> Where is giant Cam Green in the slip so he can dive 15 metres? And there was uh, Andy Samberg. It was like the Wimbledon movie. Oh, that's very close. Now, I would love to review this. I just don't know if it's going over the top or if it hit him in line. And I don't think it did. Oh, actually, let's do it. We need a wicket. We're just going to burn one of them anyway. I, I, like, I personally thought it was hitting him outside the line. The rest of it looked very good. Oh, impact outside off. Wickets were crunching it. As long as, if the impact was good, we were on. I knew it wasn't that far off. And disappointing we don't get the wicket we were after. So that's what happens. DJ, was it DJ? No, not DJ. Was it DJ Bravo? Don't bro oh, got him! <laughs> it's got him! Agar gets the first. We needed a breakthrough wicket. And the stumps go flying over there. It is one for 53. You make so many friends. And 
Oh, get him! Oh, I knew there'd be a cheeky run out somewhere that could potentially cause havoc. Oh, did he get back? Yes! <laughs> oh, there goes Algar. Cummins gets the break. Oh, I, knew, oh, I knew there'd be a cheeky run out at some point in the innings. Brings Bavuma to the middle. There's been two in three balls. Oh, and I thought that was going to be a bad pad opportunity as well. Game's back on. Game is back on. Catch it, Uzi! Oh, he's, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. That's three in the over. This is insane. The game has turned on a dime. South Africa lose three for six in the over. Agar got two of them. Can you believe that? It's a great take. Why is Uzi at uh, short leg? Uzi and Renshaw. The two guys in there instead of Head and Labashane. Love to see it. Makes it a bit sea dog. It's three for 60. Yes. Oh, he's hit that in the air, and that'll be four. Risky, but he's got it. Uh, three for 78. The South Africans are at lunch here on day three uh, at the end of the 25 over mark. Uh, Agar with the two wickets. Cummins involved in a cheeky run out of Dean Algar. It was very tight. He just missed out on that second run and it caused the run out there. Line's been economical. The rest of the bowls have been pretty good as well. Hazelwood's been a workhorse, 10 overs, none for 31 uh, off his 10. But uh, we're probably getting a result today because South Africa only need 148 and Australia, well, they need seven wickets. Yes. Oh, it's a shot. That's okay, don't mind that. He's driving the ball. I want to encourage the drive. Yeah, now that's a rank full one. But I had to try it. A show? Or is it an actual question of... Oh, that's a wicket! <laughs> Can you believe it? It's Gary with the breakthrough. Travis Head is just too good. He did miss an opportunity to bat pad earlier. This was a leading edge that travelled, I don't know, maybe half a metre in the air. But we did lose a wicket like this in our innings, so I suppose it's only fair that we get one back. But you take them when they come. It is 4 for 89. South Africa falling apart at the seams. Can they build a partnership? They're going to need one. Yep. It's okay. I'm happy with the drive. You'll nick one of them. Oh, see what I mean? You wonder why I take the runouts, because I don't get that level of quality. Oh, catch it! Oh. Catch it! It was a shoey. Who's in there? Agar's in there. Yeah, you're not equipped for that position. Oh, just not equipped for the sh That's two shoeys we've missed. Two missed shoeys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it was uppish. Almost carries to Warner. Oh, just miss it and let it hit you on the pad, lad. Single to end the over. Oh, there's not a second run in it. Just over 100 runs required for the South Africans in this one. As they find the boundary again, Kayazondo. Move up to 122. So it's 105 needed. Six wickets in hand. Yes. How have you managed to hit that there? Oh, mix up. Bowler's end. Off 140. 50 partnership. Is it a bat pad? Is it a nick? Is it a bold? I feel like bat pad could be the most likely situation given we've had it at a couple potential ones. Oh, well kicked out as well. Four for 148. Oh, that's out. In the air, and Smith has no issues. So Agar gets the wicket. The breakthrough happens, and is the collapse imminent? There's still a big chance because it's only 60 to 70 runs, I think, needed. But there's just five wickets in hand. Oh, it's about 80 to win. Oh, it's 70, 71. 71 to win. Five wickets in hand. Oi. 
zips past the edge. Oh! It's, it, it needed to straighten a little bit, and it probably goes over. Oh, he's got no idea what's happening here, Jens. And this could be, this could be an imminent collapse. Oh, off the pad, off the pad, didn't hit the bat. Just needed a smidgen on the way through. Does he have a better over this time? Oh, did it hit him on the pad first? No. Game needs to be less silly with the fielding. Zondo picks this up for two more. He's very slow between the wickets, isn't he? But it is stupid how you press the button to throw it to the keeper and that's, oh, what is that? And that's the one that's the most likely to be bugged and overthrown. Five, one, seven, eight. And that's the session. So that's interesting. Interesting development. End of session two, one session to go. We will imagine it's the last session of the match with South Africa at five for 178, uh, all four wickets for spin. Okay, so South Africa need 48 to win. They got five wickets in hand. We had a miracle against the West Indies. Can we provide the same sort of goods against South Africa? The final session. Nicked! It didn't carry, did it? It did not carry. So, genuine edge. Third umpire would have said not out. Can you believe that? This time, Renshaw! He's got it. Perfect start to the final session. Hazelwood gets it. I mean, there was a slip in there to actually take that catch, but Renshaw dived in front of Travis Head there at fourth slip. Seriously, he's made a meal of that almost. It's six for 178, a good wicket to get. Four wickets from victory, and there's, what, 49 runs still on the board for South Africa. Where the big games get decided, and Maharaj has just had a ping at that. That's four. Okay, so he's seen the aggressive field, and he said, I'm going to take it on. From 144, if you are running that, you are a goose. And he's got it through, Maharaj. So any runs he picks up is an actual bonus. I'd love for them to run a third, because that means we'll get the spin up to bowl to Maharaj. Oh, how has he missed it? Now, the reason you're probably thinking, why is Kerry so far back? Because he's missed a couple of inside edges, and if he's back, he's more likely to take them. Oh, leading edge. Oh, was that Cummins? Oh, he almost got it. Gee willikers. That would have been special. Oh, just get a bat pad or something. Anyway, they'll probably get two more to end the over. Or will they? Boy, they do. 6196. Yep. That's going to be a boundary for Maharaj. Six for 200. Hmm. It's uh, four wickets to win for Australia. South Africa need 26. You'd say they're in the box seat, of course. Single here finishes the over. Maharaj keeps the strike. Six for 201. Six for 202. Oh, it's catch it. Catch the thing. Run him out. Oh. Leading edge. And it's gone an absolute mile down the ground. Wow. Interesting Australia have gone with Agar over Lyon here as their potential match winner. Yes. In the gap. Maharaj. Boundary at the G. The SCG. 16 to win. 17 to win. And again in the gap, this time not a boundary. If there's a run out opportunity, I'm taking it, everyone. You know that. You know that's a fact. If there's a run out chance, I'm taking it. Australia would need an absolute miracle to get up from here. An absolute miracle. Can he take it? Can he be the hero? Just even one wicket would be nice just to give us a fraction of hope. That's quite close. I think it's going down. I'm not going to burn the review. Yep. How do you hit that into the gap? Oh, he's got four, Zondo. He's got four. The bloody leg plants. The most annoying shot in the game. 
knowing how the game's played out, it'll be an inside edge boundary to win the game. Oh, catch it! Surely it goes back to the bowler. Oh, look to your right, Josh. Look to your right. And he's so close to him. At least put the hands there. No, oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, get the one. Yes. Instead, he'll get two, and they'll be just three runs away from winning. Run a third. I'll run you out. And Zondo has just been unbelievably good. Like, and my paces just have not been rewarded. That's four, and that is the match. South Africa will win by four wickets. What was, it? I don't know, relatively interesting chase at the end of the day. Uh, so Harmer, not sure why he's part of the game. It would have been Zondo, surely, for his 81. Not the match-winning knock in that second innings that did the job there for the South Africans. Agar Lyon and Hazelwood, the three wicket takers for Australia in there. As South Africa won by four wickets, in uh, four days, three days, inside three full days of cricket. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, good result for them, not for us. But we win the series, 2-1, which is the first thing I've won in a long period of time. So we'll take that, but it's obviously not the greatest result that we were hoping for, you know.